Hey everyone. Good <laughs> we're, evening, we're Earthbound here. Gamers. <laughs> we're finally here. It, it it took a minute to get here, but we made it. Um, I'm Slug and I'm with Daniel. Hello, everybody. We're and... gonna be commentating uh another round once of this Swiss bracket. This is Hello Boing versus Shook T. Right. And I'm personally excited for this one. Part, partly, I have a lot of personal history with Hello Boing. So Hello Boing, for those who don't know, uh, who are not as familiar, um, uh, they're a fairly old school runner, and they are actually a former Earthbound Super Series champion. Ooh. Um, they won the second ever Earthbound Series, uh, defeating myself in the finals. Nice. Uh, and they've ne and they've and they've lorded it over me ever since. So it's, <laughs> and now you get to commentate the race fabulous well speaking of that why don't we get it started um i'm gonna let them know that we're about to get it going absolutely it's gonna be about and 15 I seconds and then they will be on their way yeah so i actually don't know um too much about shuki t's uh personal best or anything like that um, but the whole thing, you know, as we've already seen with in this tournament already, as we, you know, the race is going to be starting shortly and this beginning section, thankfully, doesn't matter nearly as much because it's an RPG beginning section. So there's just a lot of exposition. Um, even though there, there might be a skill gap in terms of PBs between the runners, uh, Earthbound is a real rude dude. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, it, you can be on paper, the quote unquote better runner, but it, it the nice part about the Boogie Percent tournament is that really anyone can win any race uh, against anybody. For sure, for sure. Um, because, I mean, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Anything can happen in Earthbound and anything that can happen will happen when you're racing. <laughs> yeah, Peen Train has, has pointed out also part of the reason <laughs> I'm commentating. Me and Boeing have, uh, I mean, if you've seen our interactions on the Discord, the main thing, the main way we interact is talking trash to each other. <laughs> friendly, friendly uh, competition, right? Friendly rivalry. Yeah, I mean, we're former roommates. I used to live with uh, oh, Hello nice. Boing uh, for a little bit. Um, they're kind enough to uh, lend me a room for a little bit. So uh, we're very, very good friends in real life. It is all in, in good fun. We're very good friends. There is no actual beef. It is just how we communicate as friends. That's how friends uh, communicate, though. I get that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I won't be like cruel on commentary or anything like that. I'm not gonna be like, wow, what a bad decision. No. <laughs> Although it's, if I was there in the room, I would say that. Uh, <laughs> just, just to be like, because it's fun to get a rise out of him, in my opinion. Nice. Uh, but he can dish it back, so it's not a thing where I don't feel like I'm picking on him or anything. He no. definitely dishes it back in space. So as we all know, the first big, like the first couple of minutes of the run are pretty, pretty much just going through the motions. Um, so that's what we'll be seeing the runners doing here. Um, I also don't know. Uh, I'm not familiar with Hello Boing, so it's cool that you gave us a little bit of background. Um, but I'm also not familiar with Shooky, and I think that's one of the really cool things about this tournament this year is that there's so many new runners and people that we really haven't seen before, and I think that makes it. Um, really exciting and gives it such to like gives the tournament such dimension for so many different levels of runners and gives a lot of people maybe more of a fighting chance and so you're not just going up against like world record holders right <laughs> like, so yeah and i mean we had already seen the, the the world record the current world record holder for boogie percent is own one in this tournament um, uh that's right uh you know showing you that you know it doesn't matter if you have the world record you can still take a loss um, and I actually did just, let me open it back up. I did find Shuki is on the leaderboard uh, with a PB of 122.46. Uh, and I know Boeing's PB is sub 110. I forget if it's just a 106 or something like that. Um, but they have a fairly decent time. They're, they they are, were a fairly strong runner. They do have sub four in uh, 80% glitch list, uh, which is not an easy time to get by any means. Yeah, Hello Boing, 105.24 is the PB. So a fairly big PB gap between the two of them, but we, we said it once we say it again, it, it could just, it could melt. Especially in Onet, especially in Onet. Like a popsicle in the desert. Yes, exactly. 
Uh, so we'll be slowly approaching here just after we have to listen to our stupid neighbor Pokey and talk to our mom. Uh, we'll be uh, approaching the first section of the run with spawns on. Um, and this is where you get to see some of that experience might might um, come to come to play here. There's a lot of trees that you can use to your advantage here to get enemies stuck on. And the crow movement is abusable in the sense that they want to move left and right. They can't really move straight down. They will swing left and right, kind of like a falling leaf, so to speak. Um, and then snakes, you can stutter. The only thing you can't really do anything about is a dog. But a dog is, if you're going to take a fight, you kind of want a dog anyway. Ooh, interesting move from Shooky T there. I haven't seen that in a while. Oh yeah, if you try and just walk straight to the door, Pokey just gets mad. It's yeah, he will you follow go. you. Is uh, it less text if you go and talk to him, or more? I think it's less text if you go and talk to him, right? It's less text, and also uh, he has to move less space. And when mm -hmm. NPCs have to like automatically move to join your party and stuff, they move quite slowly. So as you um, see, what Daniel was mentioning, there's a dog stuck on a tree up there on Boing's side. Yeah, and then you know that crow. He he noticed that even though Ness was to the right of of the crow, the crow moved towards the left. It's because yep. it wants to swing over so slow, oh, slowly. Oh, and we're seeing some stuttering with the snake. Yeah, and, and spawn. Uh, yeah, despawning the snake there, I think, is probably mm -hmm. the best thing because some there there is a spawn tile directly ahead. If a dog spawns, it's kind of a bad situation. Yeah. But Boeing getting through the hill. Pretty, pretty well. That was a very, very clean hill. But Shuki, honestly, not far behind. They've been using the terrain to their advantage very well. Just some quick despawns. You know, it's a little bit of extra time here and there. But that crow is avoidable. 100% expertly done by Shuki. Yeah. What you don't want to see on Shuki's side is a snake just hanging out up there. Because they blend into the grass. And then you're thinking, oh, I am on my way to the meteorite piece. And bam, you get hit with a snake. Yeah, so a snake can spawn, it technically can spawn on top of the hill. The The spawn plate mm -hmm. does sort of bleed over into it. Sometimes it's just looking uh, at you judgingly from from the outskirts and you're safe, but you do have to, to always be vigilant. You gotta be paying attention. Yeah, pretty much like looking ahead as much as you can. Yeah, P mentioned it in chat, uh, both climbs, you know, meteorite climbs fairly, fairly mm -hmm. good. Um, Boeing with a slight advantage here, but that can go away with just a, a difference in the Starman fight coming up. For sure. And, you know, the a main cycle thing. Versus a two cycle. Yeah, the, I would say the main thing is that you just really don't want to take a fight on the hill climb. That's going to be, you know, your main thing of getting up there. Like, if it takes some time despawning, it's less time than taking a fight and potentially dying from an enemy. Yeah, that's part of the reason why a dog fight is the quote unquote best fight if you're gonna, <laughs> if you're forced into a fight. Uh, dogs, you know, they don't do that much damage. They have a move that is an empty turn that doesn't inhibit your turn in any way. Uh, and they also give you four experience, which automatically gets you straight to level two, uh, which technically can come into play in the Starman fight. If you were to crit Starman, uh, you, you do a little bit, you know, around 16 damage with an S crit uh, on Starman in that case. Seen it? Uh, with which which can which can you know make the difference sometimes in a star in a Starman fight if Buzz Buzz is not hitting those high DPS numbers. And yeah, there's a very it, with the dogs on the Onet Hill, it's a very low chance of a bread roll, but it is possible. So that's another factor into uh, it being the best fight you can take if you're gonna take one. Yeah, simply for like I would say simply for the experience. And the crows are like pretty quick, so they can be hard to hit, and then they can peck at you and just kill you. Yeah. We are in the Starman fight. Yeah, so we see a lot of fires on, on Boeing's side. We did see one guard. Uh, I didn't notice how much Buzz Buzz hit from the beginning, but automatically this is a three cycle because that was the um, the turn that normally Starman would die if he got good damage on that on that first hit mm -hmm. with Buzz Buzz. So. The second one was 89 from what I saw. Yeah, which is low for that particular attack. They did a charge forward, which is a stronger attack, but it still did only 89 damage. But Boeing with a three... Yeah, the three cycle still sub eight. That's really good, actually. Yeah. But I have a feeling Shuki is not far behind. Yeah, we'll see on this next uh, Buzz Buzz hit whether or not uh, Starman goes down. Uh, but yeah, they're definitely like 
if, if the time difference is you can put into numbers, it's maybe like 30 to 40 seconds if they do die on this hit, which they do. So not a huge time advantage. Definitely something that can be made up. Even yeah. at just Frank and Frankenstein. Or even the sharks. If your shark bite goes. Yeah, if you die. <laughs> good or bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's the that's the next section, the next sort of most perilous section. This first shark fight, this pogo punk outside of the arcade, um, is kind of a it's kind of a problem. Um, depending on how much offense you get on the level up, it can be easier or harder. Uh, but but the pogo punk can charge forward, which does about a third of your HP. Mm -hmm. um, about like fourteen or fifteen HP. Something like that, and it it can get if if they just keep doing that. They, they are faster than you, so they generally hit first, and then you, you just don't. Um, you don't survive the fight as a result. No, you do not. And then you get sent all the way back home, and it's just a big old... I'm representing Leslie here with the butts. <laughs> as he said butt like ten times last night. He said so butt funny. like so many times. <laughs> Like seven times. Now there are spawn plates here, so you see a dog on Boing's side. Oh, and a crow. Oh, I good. Oh, skills. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Boing, Boing isn't a very experienced runner, knowing that they can use the tree there uh, as long as they move quick enough and don't get caught on anything. Um, so you just got to make sure your movement is crisp. That's the, the big caveat mm -hmm. there. But they were able to to get through, it. and they've been doing a lot of practice. There's been a lot of practice streams coming from Boing's side, so. They wanted to make sure they were well prepared for this. Talking to this kid like three times, gotta <laughs> gotta know what this kid's got to has to say. Oh, Shiki taking a dog fight. Maybe yeah, he'll get a bread roll. Yeah, maybe it was a rough spawn, honestly. <laughs> like the the maybe the way to get around that was, was to walk up and use the tree above you. Uh, but it's not immediately obvious. And just running away, honestly, I would have actually killed the dog uh, just for the level up. But they they take the run, which is still fine. I was checking pronouns. Yeah, no boing, uh, they, them. Mm -hmm. It looks like Shiki is, uh, he, they, so we might as well just say they. Keep it, I'll try. I'll keep try it simple. When I can. You see, boing doing this movement here, this is to prevent, uh, oh, actually it might be too early on that movement. Okay, no, it still works mm -hmm. out. This is to prevent mm -hmm. some sharks spawning right in front of this pizza place, which they can spawn in front of. Um, and we get to this pogo punk, so falling down is what you want to see uh, yep. from this. Charge forward is not what you want to see, but in the second turn, not nearly as scary. As long as Ness hits, or he crits, Ooh, crit. just, just to let you know that they are especially dead on the turn, they would have died even without the crit, but, you know, thanks for, thanks for hitting, at least. <laughs> yeah. But, if, I mean, Boink still could have lived if the pogo punk just would have hit regularly, because that only hits for about 4 HP, so... Yeah, if you're gonna get hit, that's tense. the one you want to see. Or you want to see a miss, too. Mm -hmm. One more hit here. Okay, so this is good because I think they have the bread roll still. Um, which means that they could get through this Yes Man Jr., which is the next fight here, and then use the bread roll to uh, get their HP to max. And then they should be good to go for the Frank fight. Ricky taken their first shark fight. Yeah, they're attacking first turn with that four HP. You know, it's it's very low, so that's what that is what you want to see. Even if they were to charge forward, um, it, uh, the next turn they would survive. But the smash on the second turn definitely well nice, uh, very nice to see. And also one thing to notice is that Shuki has more offense than Boy, which might make the uh, Frank and Frankie Stein fight just a smidge faster. Them knives of brandishing. Yeah, Frank is uh, also Ooh, a, a dodge. Good... A nice crit from Boing. We've seen a lot of crits between these two racers so far. Yeah. You definitely um, want to see a crit on Frank, like for sure. Yeah, of the two fights, like I mean, crits help speed up every fight you're in, pretty much, uh, unless you're just gonna kill them anyway. 
Uh, but Frank especially, you want him dead as quickly mm-hmm. as possible because we'll see shortly here with Shuki, but um, going into Frank, if Frank hits you, you have to heal. You just cannot survive two hits in yeah. a row from Frank because if Absolutely he brandishes the knife both turns in a row, you're dead. You Even die. if you try and just like mash it out, you know? Um, Which you could maybe get really lucky, but it's just, it's really risky. Yeah, it, it depends how much HP you have left. If you have like 24 to 25, uh, that's that's something that is you know fairly as long as you're mashing quickly is it's not mm-hmm. it's not super difficult but once you get into the 23 22 21 which are mashable technically right. uh, it is it is more of a long shot at that point all right so boing is done with the frank facts and shuki here i think this next hit will kill frank uh, just based on the fact they're hitting Frank for 18. Oh, oh crit from Frank, that is so unfortunate. Oh, but... that's so mean. It's so mean, but thankfully, as I said, the one hit away from death was very nice because yeah. if that was not the situation, that was that could have been a Frank death. So Shuki's staying in this. Yep. And the Frankie sign fight it can still be, you know, scary, but at least Frankie sign waste to turn between rounds so you have the chance to you know heal yourself use life up or eat a burger etc yeah some things to note about frank uh, frankie stand in particular their first turn is always going to be blowing a burst of steam and their second turn will always be the weaker of their two attacks the regular punch which does around 16 damage uh, in that range um after those first two rounds every other you know uh they're gonna blow a burst of steam on the next turn and then they're gonna hit you again now what they hit you with is either a strong or weak attack um from there on it's rng but they still will blow that burst of steam every other turn so you know you have that that window where like if, even if you took a big hit and you're almost dead you can heal on the burst of steam turn yep. which adds some nice safety to that fight Boing going burglus. Yeah. <laughs> I did burglus on my last, on my race, and, and it, it was it, scary, and it worked out. For me. It, it did work out great. Uh, we've seen burglus from a handful of runners. I'm not sure uh, it's bitten anyone uh, in the butt so far. We've seen some other strats uh, not work out so well, but burglus so far, I think, has a pretty good track record in this tournament. So far. <laughs> I'm gonna get a butt counter going. We're at five. <laughs> I mean, I could. I mean, butt is okay to say. <laughs> <laughs> so Shuki could definitely catch up if we see some, uh, you know, cruddy RNG on Boing's side for slugs. I mean, he hasn't found. Uh, they haven't found their first slug pack yet, so right. it is, it is uh, already sort of coming into to to play here. Uh, mm-hmm. They're getting over to this section here because they're trying to get this mouse stuck on this wall. Uh, and then they're going to despawn the mouse because I think they did not like that. But finally, slugs. our first pack of slugs. Now I'm bringing up NS Paint now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's a, that's a four pack of slugs. In total, you would, you'll need 22 slugs to get to uh, level eight, which is run Nest Learns PSI Rocket, uh, which is just a default name for it. It should be like PSIA for, for Bing. And, for whatever Shuki named their favorite thing, it'll be that. Uh, Boeing actually has high defense, so these slugs are only hitting for three, which is actually kind of nice. It helps you get away with heals a lot later than you would normally do uh, when grinding on these slugs. Oh, but yeah, yeah, but... Put, put, put the no! bed. <laughs> but that low offense can be, like, kind of, like, you know, it can be sucky going into your first fights with the slugs, because, you, as you see, Boeing is only hitting for, like, 26. And you want to do at least 30 or 31 to take take out a slug. So yeah. it's a little unfortunate. Yeah, they have exactly 30 <laughs> HP, so you want to be dealing, uh, you know, exactly 30. Thankfully, the once you get your first level up, um, you get enough offense that you can reliably auto fight on the, the rest of the slugs, assuming your HP is at a range where you're mm-hmm. comfortable with it. Um, and then it should still one shot uh, the slugs thereafter. Uh, but on that first fight, in general, you don't necessarily want to auto fight because auto fight chooses its target randomly. 
So it might hit something for 26 and then hit another thing for 27. And now you're still taking hits from every single slug. But you want to get rid of the slugs as quickly as possible because you want to mitigate the damage you're taking. Right. And also, Autify decides when it thinks you should use your life up. So if you had decided, well, I'm going to save it and maybe eat a burger, then you're just wasting your psychic points. Ooh, a smash. Yep. And, uh... So Boeing has 19 offense right now. So we're I'll deep keep... in the slug fights. Yeah, I, I'll keep track of, of Boeing's offense moving forward so we can see uh, whether or not they get the, the Fable 24 offense that was required to instant kill Antoids when they finally do make their way up towards Titanic Ant. Yes, that is something that even if you don't know your offense is just a, a, a blessing to see. There's a butterfly there. Honestly, uh... uh... It's it kind of worth. You can get the life up. Yeah. You can light yourself yeah. up and then pop off. It's not necessarily a bad idea. It's a little bit of a time waste, but I'd do it. Spooky had just lifed up too, so I, I yeah. Yeah, after this fight, you could life up, take it. It's about mm -hmm. eight seconds to get the the butterfly. Six to eight seconds, depending on the butterfly has to reach like a certain point above Ness's head. Um, it's so it can take around six to eight seconds. Boeing here on pack 12. And yeah, Shuki and can Shuki's do... doing it. Yeah, give me that butterfly. Chase it. Don't go chase it, <laughs> butterflies. <laughs> or do. Boeing, I think, trying to find a four pack on the second floor, which is a lot more rare. Can happen. Mm -hmm. uh, but Shuki now, I think this is their um, 12th. When they kill this, this will be pack 12. And that's exactly what, what Boeing is on. So we mentioned Shuki's not far behind. We weren't joking. Like they're, Yeah, Boeing could and, be... Boeing could be going for a six-pack. Looks like they found a three-pack. Oh, it's a four-pack. Nice. Yeah, there, was one, there was one hidden in there. So then this will be 16, and then they hope, they're hoping for a, a six-pack up top to, to finish it off. <laughs> I don't want no food. <laughs> <laughs> Said no one ever in the boogie percent race. Yeah, you definitely want you want you want hella slow. And bo and Boeing finding the six pack immediately. It's always Woo! nice when when they're there waiting for you because normally when I, I it seems like when you don't want them they're there and when you want them they're never there. Right. I mean, okay. So Daniel, would you have just used your rock in here? Does uh, Boeing have, have rockin'? Rockin'? Ooh. No. This is to get rockin'. So. Okay. Math, okay. 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 The math works out that you fight four Auto four five. packs. Uh, you fight four four packs on the first and second floor, and then the six pack up top for twenty two slugs exactly, and they get to the Nice. Shuki getting into is this a slug fight? Yes, they recognized it. I, di I didn't get to see the the way they spawned, so I was mm -hmm. uncertain if it was a scarier fight. But yeah, there was they were kind of spread out, but it was about it was four. Yeah, that's the important thing to note on that second floor. So Antoids can spawn on the second floor, mm -hmm. but if it's a pack of four, then it's guaranteed going to be a slug pack because Antoids do not spawn in packs of four because that would be the rudest possible thing this game could do. <laughs> the only time they spawn in packs of four is when you're leaving Onet. That's correct, yeah. But by that point, um, as long as you haven't glitched they're out They're running away. The, yeah, if you haven't glitched out of Onet, they're just running away. So Boeing is picking up that burger for extra safety in the ant fight, I imagine. Yeah, so they they did burgerless, so they want to get as many burgers as they can, just of what they've got. Um, Shuki taking a double Antoid fight. This is really scary. Did Shuki also go burgerless? I don't remember them buying burgers. No, they they did buy burgers. They I did. Okay, them. I missed it. Oh no, an Antoid fight. Oh, this. Wait. You need to run. I think you just need to run at this point, because yeah, running away. Like, what I think do I do? The... What do I do? Running away, I think, is the play. Oh, fart. Okay, okay, oh, they have Oh, it. okay! Run, keep oh running, my gosh, keep running. oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And it worked. Oh, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> that is so lucky. Okay, we're at an ant fight. We'll see how this goes. It's getting exciting, folks. 85, that's a decent hit. That's you know, yeah. a little bit above average. Inside magnet, not for seven. All right, for five, That we can work with that. Mm -hmm. You just want to make sure you have enough for the second rocket because it yeah, is such absolutely. a big help in this fight. For sure. 
83, so that's you know, about 168 damage, so to speak, something in that range. Uh, Ant has 235 HP, so about two or three more hits for, for Boing here to take out Titanic Ant. And Ant's at being so kind right now. That hit is okay. There should be one hit away. Yep, or, there we go. That's a very decent Ant time right there. They're on for the good pace. Sure. They're nice on that pace right now. And it looks like Shaki's doing their six pack. Yeah, I don't think, I think Boeing had to use maybe one burger, if that. I don't recall mm -hmm. them needing to really use much healing at all. Um, no, I don't think, I don't know if they even used a burger. Yeah, they may have had enough for just the life up. Um, but they barely well, got no, their, a lot their, of their PP got stolen, so they didn't have enough for life up because they did two rockets. No, you're right, you're right. Actually, yeah, I think they just, the ant just didn't hit them that much except for the one time when right That one, like, 23 died. hit or something. Yeah, right before he died. Yeah. His last oh, hurrah. <laughs> His last, I'm gonna make you hurt. <laughs> you just leave giant step with a ton of ant bites all over you, like, oh, <laughs> like God. All up. <laughs> You're just scratching during the cop fight. Yeah, that's why that cop fight is so mean to you. You're like, I'm not fat. And he's like, no, you're like really swollen from all the ant bites. <laughs> I'm anaphylactic shock. <laughs> right, wow, so Shiki does the have cops do not care. <laughs> nice. Actually, they have 25 offense. They checked despite knowing they had enough, but 25 offense, which is a little bit higher than than normal. You can you can have 26, which is room going up to Ant. So Shiki's still still in it. Yeah, this is still very close. Yeah, this um, has been awesome. Very very good pace between the both of them. Let's see how the Ant fight goes for Shuki. PSI mm. magnet eight would be very rare. Three three, very nice. 62, a little bit lower than what you want to see, but at least it hit. Okay, fighting attack. 77, okay, so not quite as good as, as uh, Boing's, and taking that big hit there yeah, is Yeah, that was a scary. mean bite. But they have plenty of burgers, so. Yeah. Oh, he's Ooh, I'd burger up again. Oh man, okay, with the shield. The shield slows this fight down a little bit, but at the very least, you're not taking damage. A burger up again for sure. Playing it <laughs> risky! Ooh! Oh, oh this is super risky nice. to hit right here. Oh, man. You definitely need a burger. Yeah, I think they realize 43 HP is not a comfortable not, amount of HP. Not what you want to be at. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh and that's great. That's good for the shield. Oh, it also kills him. It also just kills him. I figured that smash would do it. There was so many shields, I just wasn't sure. Right. Uh, and it was nice a pretty stuff. low smash with only like 34, but it still did the job. Yeah. All right, cop fight. So this first copy, you basically don't want Ness to outspeed on turns that you're healing yourself. That's like the main thing with cops. Uh, of course, it happens basically every single time. Um, but that's, that's just how it be. Going with about four burgers, which I think is a comfortable amount. Getting crit is unfortunate, but they have 40 HP, so just starting with a life up on the next cop, I think, will probably be the, the go-to move here. Just uh, And then hope you go second, that way you get your HP to full before you start matching. Oh, right there. The outspeed. I cursed it. Uh-oh. These cops can just be relentless with their crushing chops. What do they yeah. think they are? You basically just, you want them to do the regular attack, um, or at the very least, like, the, the thing that's that's still fairly manageable to get through is, like, a nice mix of both. Mm -hmm. uh, it, but if they're only just relentlessly doing crushing chops, which I think are, like, supposed to miss more than the other attack, which it, like, never does, so it, it doesn't feel that way. Yeah. Uh, it just, it becomes that much harder, especially when you don't have, like, a full and full of burgers, which is right. Bo Boeing does not have right now. Right, and also, and also when you don't want to use, when you want to save the 20 psychic points so that you can throw two rockins at strong. And when they're crushing, right. chopping you four times in a row, you're just running through your burgers, and then you have to dip into your psychic points to life up so that you don't die. Yeah, I still think uh, strong with one rockin' is, is fairly safe. Yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's one of those things that you have to make a, a gut call, like at the strong fight, based on resources. Like, okay, if I'm not at full HP and I only have enough for this one rockin', yeah. um, 
I might just have to try and bash this out, and that might be better for me than right. going for a rock and having no healing and then hoping that I don't die. Yeah, because you do not want to go into the strong fight with anything, I would say, under 50-something HP. So, Boing's going into this fight with 90 HP and 10 psychic points, so they should be pretty good. Yeah, I think they have one burger left as well, unless I mm -hmm. miss, miss Saw. Um, but yeah, rocking a guard is great to see there. You just want this rocking to hit. 53 is really low, but you can still make this work. Strong only has 140 HP, thankfully. Oh no. They yeah, do have burger. a burger. Well, one burger, so they can just auto fight from here on forward because they have no other choice. A crit, unfortunate, but he should die in the next hit. <laughs> So wrong, but... okay, oh, God! Two 20, 28, 29, living with 2 HP. Boing not even sweating. <laughs> but Shuki not far behind. They just start... sweats <laughs> yeah. on their brow. <laughs> they just started... Uh, Shuki just starting their cop fights now. Dean with a good uh, a good point there. Safe fish thing to do. You bash first, see what strong does, and then depending on what strong does, you throw a rocking out. Boing. Checking their inventory. They do need uh one piece of food to give to Apple Kid, but thankfully there's uh, a hamburger and a present over here mm -hmm. that uh, we just used to our advantage. Watch out for mushrooms. Yeah, mushroom. You just watch out for mushroom spawns. Mushrooms have a pretty low aggro radius, so you can walk by them as long as you know the general um, aggro radius. Uh, one thing you do have to be careful when walking into Tucson here is that sometimes mushrooms like to hide uh, behind the trees there. With antoids. Uh, uh, yeah, and they See? can. Uh, oh, we saw they, it. They can sneak up on you. Okay, he's still fighting cops. Yeah, they're on their third cop, or I believe, right now. And they did not re-up on burger, so this is their last burger. Hoping for potentially some burger yes. drops from these cops. Yeah, we've uh, seen a few. Yeah, it's 1 in 16, so it's not, like, super, super rare. It's just not quite as We have not seen the egg drop yet, though. And I want to see a dirty boiled egg come out of yeah. Captain Strong's pocket. <laughs> yeah, at least one, once. <laughs> that's a 1 in 32 right there. Um... But it's always fun to see. So I think you life up here. Mm? I would life up, but you can also go for the double rocking and just say, you know what? I live dangerously. And they're still alive. They have like three HP. And this is why. I... Oh dear. Yeah, this is so double rocking not guaranteed to kill. Um, you need rocking both rockins to hit for uh, seventy. Uh, and unfortunately, is, both hit for below 70, so Strong survived with about but, 3 HP. That is butt city right there. Yeah. It's a rough, city. The rough spot for Shooky, but they'll come back. They'll be able to, you know, keep it going. Yeah, Strong Fight is is a big time loss, unfortunately. And I would imagine Shooky now uh, with the... They have zero burgers on them. Probably maybe goes and buys some at the very least. Uh, going maybe. into cops with no burgers is doable but scary. Yeah, something that I'll do sometimes, and I know this isn't really anyone, like I've never seen anyone else do it. It's just kind of a safety strat for when you're maybe not feeling particularly confident going into a cop fight is to save at the hotel. Because if you die, you don't have to go all the way back to mom's house. You don't have to get the pickle. And then you can always go to Frank for, you know, a heal, which does take time. But if you, you know, like it, it is a thing that I've done before. Yeah, just to definitely... feel safe it's not the best strat but yeah it's one of those things that you know for safety you, you obviously lose time going to save but in in a case of a race like this it might end up being the difference maker um because even though shuki did die strong and, and boing now had it you know extends their lead uh the win is not guaranteed so there's still more race to go um shuki definitely gonna be buying burgers here at least two apparently because that's all they have the money for I'm not sure if they even went to withdraw. I think that might have just been leftover money they had. Okay, Peen bringing up a, a reset that you could do. Which yeah, is... you do a soft, a soft reset, yeah. Yeah. We were discussing that in one of the, I think the first restream that we had, when you would particularly want to 
maybe do a soft reset in the game. Yeah, so that'd be a good, good scenario point. for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a good scenario for it right there. Um, when when the healing items are quite important to your survival. But Shuki going into it with two burgers, which is doable. Um, when you do burgerless uh, Titanic Ant and go into burgerless cops, that's gen uh, you know not buying burgers specifically. You generally have around two, and you're you're crossing your fingers hoping for burger drops from these guys. See how it goes. Yeah, crushing chops not what you want to see, unfortunately. Well, Boeing's just hitting some story triggers here. They've, they've loaded the iron pencil into memory. They're picking up a key item, and then uh, they'll be advancing into Peaceful Rest Valley. And we'll probably talk about that area more once once Boeing gets a little bit closer. Because uh, that area, as you have experienced today, Slug, uh, <laughs> it is, is butts. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe I got pincered twice. That friggin' UFO behind that tree, which I knew it was there. I knew it was there. But my brain was like, keep going. <laughs> I just went you smooth move brain. Forward, yeah. forward to win race. <laughs> I was like, you've already died. Like, oh. <laughs> Can't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so Boing did pick up the pencil eraser. And Shiki is smashing some cops. Finally getting some good RNG there. life up here on this next cop most likely but with some good luck on this cop they'll, they'll still have potentially 15 to 20 psychic points going into strong oh we yes. got a burger i think so the, they'll survive this but then they have to heal again and this is a very scary situation you definitely need yeah to life up, up right here for sure oh but ness out speeds like a jerk boy not what you want to see <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you life up again, outspeeding again because Ness is a jerk. And then doesn't outspeed on the turn that you really need an outspeed. So this is most likely going to be either a single rockin' or just bash it out and use the three the, the three mm -hmm. PSI life ups you have available to you. Um, after you dying auto fight strong in that ones. Respect? Uh, you could auto fight. Uh, you could auto fight, I think, technically doesn't always choose um, the mm. most optimal spot and unfortunately they're Ooh, in a scary 95. situation here 95 you, you, though 95 oh my though. god oh yeah. not at full hp at the start of the fight so <laughs> when strong strong hits when you're not at full hp at the, start, at the start of the fight especially when you're in that 40 to 50 range you really have to seeing... use sorry go you ahead. have to use you have to use that life up on that first turn in my opinion because yeah you, re for sure. you really got to make sure that you you have the HP to survive two hits from strong and keep to survive a out. grapple. Yeah, I was just gonna say the peaceful rust valley is just filled with spawns and enemies. Yeah, just... so you see a small pincer here, but enough to mm -hmm. despawn. Mm -hmm. The annoying part about peaceful rust valley is that you know it's a lot of just narrow passageways, there's not a lot of areas to maneuver and get enemies. Right, stuck, but, stuck on things. There are trees here and yeah, there. Yeah, trees but... and rocks and things and cliffs, so you can use those to your advantage. But here in Territorial Oak Lane, you gotta watch out. Yeah, and Boeing picked up. They did need to pick up two butterflies, but they picked them up prior to, to erasing the mm -hmm. pencil. I did notice that. And then, yeah, so those enemies there, you can't really walk past them. If it was just a Territorial Oak, thankfully, to depending on what else has spawned oh, no. you, you, you oh. cannot get away from oh, this. This is, <laughs> you're, uh... you're taking this fight yeah that's, that's a rough spot so you try and run first turn from this fight or you try and rock it that also works out. uh you can run away first turn against this fight is they do not have enough speed to deny you a potential first turn i went for a rock in so maybe they'll try and run second yeah, looks like it. They just want to get rid of most of the enemies. That way they're not taking a ton of damage. The tree, not always that aggressive, loves to do brain shock, which is unfortunately a pretty long animation. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, the tree is a tree, therefore it's not that fast. I don't know where you're walking that way. I guess they want the, the butterfly to have full psychic points, so this mm. makes sense. But brain shock can make you feel strange. It can. I don't... I've Make never seen it work. <laughs> never Me seen either. It work on <laughs> I don't think it can work on Ness right now. <laughs> Ooh. Risky yes. business. 
Very nice. Yeah, they should be fine. So do the mobile sprouts have the same aggro radius as the mushrooms or is it a little bit larger? Because I no, feel like those are a little more, it's the same? It's the exact same. Nice. They, they they use the same uh, like enemy logic in terms of how they aggro onto the mess. Okay. Shuki, round three coming into cops now. No, oh, please, Shuki, you can do it. Ness is in smoke. Ness is already confused. <laughs> so probably we'll see from Boing here because they're not at full HP is they'll buy a croissant and then use it or maybe pick up uh, a free fresh egg and then use it. Airfram sent me a pizza soup recipe. I'm so <laughs> mad. <laughs> so I said, how dare you? Because now I want to try it. I'll be watching Isn't... that after stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be making a pizza soup after stream, everyone. <laughs> Oof, we're running into all the cultists. That is a seesaw relationship, Fiend Train. So if something is 100% susceptible to hypnosis, it means it's 0% susceptible to brain shock. Uh, and vice versa. <laughs> Here comes the soup talk. <laughs> it's soup hour. <laughs> Where soup is a condiment? Soup is not a condiment. It's not a condiment. It's like decidedly not a condiment. Oh no. Oh no. No, no. I'm not watching. I'm not watching that. Why is he is he linking it to me now too? I'm not going <laughs> to watch this. First of all, your evidence is a child. Yeah, that's why I was like, I am absolutely not watching a child. They're making a sauce. That is not yeah, a soup, your, that's a sauce. When you mix Your evidence together, is, hey, this small child said it's a condiment, so <laughs> checkmate. <laughs> I guess you would have to add like broth to it to make it a soup. I mean, is that what makes something a soup? I mean, let's be real here. That is a, that is a, a conversation that is like, more, I'm more willing to have than is soup a condiment. <laughs> oh no, we're seeing calls from help from the cultists. Yeah, boy, making the correct decision to heal here. Mm -hmm. You gotta heal because this yeah. the, uh, cultist is gonna put you in a, in a range where you cannot survive the next hit. And meanwhile, thankfully the crow did not steal the croissant at the beginning oh, of the battle. Right, uh, and Shuki has and... made it to Coffin Strong. Again, let's see if we can hit 46. Ness, I six. Are you serious, bro? And should be taking, take, making the choice to heal, and we're gonna bash it out. Heal again. Heal again. Yeah. I agree. Oh my God, this, this. Okay, guard is fine. You, you less, you take, he takes less damage, but oh my God. Shuki needs worse. to say some prayers to the RNG gods. Hit him, he might die. Okay, oh, fine. Thank already. you. Shuki T oh. getting out of getting through cops third time's a charm. Mm. But very unfortunate to die twice as strong. That's it's one of the, the biggest yeah. uh time hits you can take. For sure. I mean honestly just dying twice in a row at in any point in the run is just really deflating. And you have yeah. to really dig deep to keep going. <laughs> I speak from experience earlier. Yeah, I mean it's it's I, I commend any runner who still finishes a race after taking a lot of like deaths and stuff like that all throughout it. Yeah. Uh, because I, I know I I personally tilt out of my mind. Um, I mentioned that Hello Boing defeated me in, in the finals to, to win the Super Series. That race, I died three times to cops. <laughs> oh and then I, I, I did not finish. I'm like, there's no point in me complaining that. No. Uh, and it's oh, like, so that's why they won is because you DNF. Uh, well, they also had like they PB'd and got a very very good time. Okay. I still think they probably would have won even mm -hmm. if I hadn't had died, mm -hmm. uh, just because I don't think my own net was going well enough prior to that <laughs> to really like. So Excuse I still me, think... not with three cop deaths. Well, even before the cop deaths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I I still think they probably would have won just based on they got a, a, a very very good time. It was like a 106 or something like that. Boy is getting terrible cultist fights. Yeah. 
you get a lot of extra experience, which, which does prevent getting a lot of extra HP on the Carpenter level up. True, very true. So they get a ton of HP right here, uh, and a bunch of psychic points. So the psychic points will come in handy for um, yeah. Carpenter. Uh, with this HP, Boeing might rock it on the first turn based on just what things we used to do. Realistically, it's probably better to rock it on turns two and three with this with this HP threshold. That way, you take the hit um, and you lower HP coming up for the death warp. But a thing we used to, a thing I used to do, is rock it on the first turn, uh, and if a lightning did reflect, um, then it just instantly kills. Usually, one forty-three. Ooh, okay. And this won't kill even if it's very high, but it does add a lot of. Damage. It does help, yeah. And saving the the psychic points for life up, I, I respect. It. It's the smart. It's the smarter decision. Oh, Ooh, and a crit. smash. With yeah. 52, not bad. Yeah, they're not going to get... I don't think they get a level up, but even if they did, it's not much HP yet. Just three. Three. So. It was three, yeah. So that's definitely... You could do Mole Death Warp with 55. The Mole can hit for up to, like, 61, um, technically, even on yeah. this. I tried to be uh, cute and do a Territorial yeah. Oak Warp, and then... Uh, yeah, and then you killed the Sprout. You're not supposed to kill the Sprout. I know, I messed it up. And then Ness yeah. survived with 1 HP. <laughs> I yeah. was just you, hitting you my just palm to forehead moment. <laughs> so don't do yeah. that. Don't yeah, you just, kill, you just kill the, the tree. That way you can't, you can't survive with 1 HP. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> yeah, but I had like 70 do. HP or something, you know. You Go find a, a bear. Lot. Yeah, you can try and find a bear, or the same in the same vein, like when you walk out towards Peace Rest Valley, if there's like a UFO and a whirling robo, you take that fight, they are generally very aggressive and they will kill you fairly quickly. Okay. Um, so that that's also like a, a death warp trap. Some people will walk back. That isn't that much time lost if you can get a very clean walk back. We're getting red swirled by a crow. This is not a crow death warp. Crows, please. Can do that. Uh... Well, only Jimothy can do the crow death warp. <laughs> Just rocketing the crew. <laughs> this probably is not gonna hit both of them. It didn't work on either of them yet. <laughs> so, so Rockin's chance to hit based on it's, it's, just it's, like... a, it's a calculation based on between the enemy speed and that's the speed. I I don't remember the calculation, but the higher the enemy speed, the higher the chance it has to miss. And crows have 77 speed, and Ness has like six. So <laughs> Uh, it misses quite often on the crows. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably just like, oh, screw you, crows. Oh, <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and Shuki, uh, making their way back, I think they still have to pick up the pencil eraser. Yes, they do. They should They're be getting, getting a phone call right Apple now. Yeah. phone call, yeah. Um, Daniel, I'll be right back. Alright, I'll hold down the fort. So Boeing going to be uh, going towards, I expect the Mole Death Warp, uh, 55 is enough to, to just go for it, and you can get lucky enough with a quick Mole Death Warp that it's not too bad. Um, even with the perfect HP, Mole Death Warp can still lose your time. You're basically just up to, it's up to that guy. If that guy wants to kill you, he'll kill you, but if he doesn't, if he's not really feeling it, then you, know, you, you can't really do anything about it. So we'll see how the Death Warp goes. The main thing here is that uh, you want to use the ATM card with Ness, which is an empty turn, uh, and you do not want to hit the mole with Ness because Ness can kill this mole. Um, you want this mole to survive because you want him to kill him. This is a death worm. So you hit with Paula because one of the things the mole does quite often is uh, make itself confused. It has a move that makes itself confused. Um, so you hit with Paula, and Paula only can do one damage, even with a crit, uh, to the mole. And Shuki, I'm not sure where they're going. Yeah, that's the wrong way, Shuki. Shuki oh, a little bit lost Shuki's right now. He's lost looking for a Burglin Park. No, they got the pencil racer. Oh, I think they just... just I think they just got regular loss. Okay. <laughs> it happens. I missed what was uh, going on. Yeah, but Boeing with a pretty good death warp. It made itself confused once, but then otherwise killed okay. Paula and then killed Ness. So fairly quick death warp. Both of them were in Tucson briefly at the same time, but now Shuki going to be making... Uh, his way over to Peace Rest Valley. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Peace Rest Valley is is just... 
It's the worst. Yeah, so easy to get pincer. There's some nasty enemies. The UFOs in particular, their their movement is so erratic that while you can get them stuck on trees and stuff like that, if they, they move so fast that they'll get unstuck. Uh, yeah, and it's like you have to make very quick decisions when it comes to them as well. Mm -hmm. Like the, in in your race, there was technically like a, if you had made the quickest decision possible, which is so hard to make, and it's like unreasonable really to even imagine a human to necessarily do it. You could be like, oh, I, you could walk in front of this rock and it would have gotten stuck on the rock, and maybe you would have gotten <laughs> through type thing. But it's like <laughs> it's like even the best runners can can fault because you have to make a split second decision which is so difficult to do in this game because i mean daniel i already told you i went smooth brain right about yeah. here it's not on screen it don't <laughs> exist <laughs> um i did have a pretty good juke though and that was a pretty good juke on shooky's uh or just like avoiding that you know ufo so it is possible yeah absolutely. in prv which i am now calling probably really volatile valley <laughs> just add an works. extra v <laughs> yeah prvv pr suck it sorry i'll stop <laughs> i'm not bitter she, what she can get into that little bend there uh that bend there is mm -hmm. is particularly dangerous it's one of the most common pins in, in a peace for us valley uh, and here this is one of the other ones, I would say. This little narrow passageway here. I don't know how many butterflies they need, but uh, there's at least one guaranteed butterfly coming up. So and that was a good fun. catch on that tree because I almost thought it was just a regular tree. Yeah, that's that's the idea. You know, so I think some people think like, oh, those are very clearly moving in enemies, but when you're when you're trying to go through quick, they can mm -hmm. they can definitely get the jump on you. You're like, wait, it's yep. <laughs> trick why, is this why is this tree moving all of a sudden? <laughs> and then burst into flip. No, don't do it. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. So taking UFO fight not recommended. Uh, you cannot run away first turn, and Rockin is also it, it, it has a higher chance to hit against the UFOs than it does, let's say, a crow. Um, and here it did hit, but they're gonna have to use an extra five psychic points to get rid of this cold. But thankfully, this butterfly is right here. It's gonna be enough to get them back up to, to full. And they'll have to go back down and despawn, so it'll probably show up again. Yeah, I would not recommend trying to get by that tree. While you can walk faster than trees, uh, that is not enough space to really uh, make it happen. Yeah, or even try to use the iframes. Like, don't don't try it. Yeah, this sprout you can walk under. Well, you know. I mean, you can. <laughs> you, and they did. You're right. <laughs> I I said they did. I didn't say it wasn't going to aggro. It was aggro. scary. I'm just saying, I'm just saying they was they. You can get it to walk under if you had technically if you like did the wiggle and walked as low as possible you could have it, it wouldn't have aggroed but also like it's not super diff like even just natural movement there which is to just move down and run away from the sprout gets it stuck on the ledge there so shuki immediately noticing that going for it and made the right call hey hey 420 <laughs> Boing joins us in chat. <laughs> I'm too stressed out during my races to even have a Twitch open for like to like pop into chat. Okay, like, I don't know I, how you'll do it. I can't help but be curious about where my opponent is. Oh, and should be using a skip sandwich right out the gate. Uh, I don't recommend no ev ever that buffering movement into this cave. Ever. No. Absolutely uh, not, because that very easily could have been filled with cultists. Yeah, and, and sometimes it can a cultist can be like right on top of you, it's just unavoidable. And cultists uh -huh. are particularly bad, not just because they can call for help and uh, they can hit for kind of hard. It, you cannot run away from cultists because of the Left fight coming up for Shuki. I cannot believe I'm yelling Left at them so hard. I'm yelling at them so Left hard after this. <laughs> Why are you so mad about left buzz? What is, what is your issue? Explain yourself, Daniel. No, you better not tell me that it yeah, has right something side, to do with math. Right side bus is faster. It's just <laughs> faster. <laughs> it's just like, it's like, it's very <laughs> clearly faster. <laughs> Oh, 
I, yeah, I mean, I think if you want to just definitely avoid the photo trigger, it can be it's advantageous. The, it's, the, it's the call to make when you don't want to deal with the photo trigger in any capacity. I, I do agree with that. So I don't blame people for for doing left side bus, but to say it is the better side bus when mm. it is slower is saying, like, I don't know if All I can accept it. All of this is speculative. It. It's not spe I can prove it. I can literally prove it. <laughs> It's been through, it's just clearly faster. <laughs> it's math. <laughs> Talk to the sign, Shooky. I like I like how you get on my case whenever I bring math into it. You're like, don't even talk to me about math. And then if <laughs> eggs are involved, math is your favorite subject all of a sudden. Well, I mean, if eggs are involved, you're like, math, math, let me, oh, I gotta talk about egg math right now. No, Listen, you don't I understand. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a camera on me during my egg math phase, everyone would be like, is she okay? <laughs> I'll find the notes. <clears throat> Send you a photo of my notes. I still have them. So going in the graveyard here, the graveyard, uh, you can use these these uh, graves to your advantage here and get rid of most of the enemies. The enemies that you have to worry about are the ones in the section that Boing is in right now, except that they had no spawns. So they actually don't really need to worry that right now. Uh, the walk back, there can be something, but that was actually a very, very clean graveyard. You'll love to see it. Airframe, what you're telling me is, is, is except for the part where you get a photo, where you get a photograph that loses 20 plus seconds, it's fastest to do the down bus. So except for the part where it's slower, it is faster. That's what you just said, Airframe. <laughs> my favorite when people use logic like that too it's like hey except for this dude ex except for this time and this time and this time when have i ever done that <laughs> you have to exclude those because i just excluded those i just sent you the ravings of a mad woman <laughs> oh you know i should show you this is great i, I actually do really like this if you want to see like amazing earthbound notes you have to look at anything anytime uh aurelix writes notes it's always a gem because aurelix uh <laughs> will write when they write any percent notes because they run the any percent glitch category uh mainly they hand write all their notes and so they have like little doodles and it only makes sense to him really <laughs> like they he's writing them for himself so uh, well that's he, what notes are for <laughs> yeah i know so like there's that the, one of the reasons why in brick road when you go in, into brick road and you talk to uh, like Dungeon Man, rather. Uh, mm -hmm. When you talk to, you know, Brick Rose's face in there, one of the reasons that everyone says talk to face is, <laughs> is, is because... Is that what their note is? That their note said talk to face and nothing else. <laughs> it just said talk to face. <laughs> I almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> <laughs> talk to face. That's Dungeon all... Man, talk to face. That's all his note said. <laughs> And like do, he shared it already in winters. <laughs> yeah, going on a, a very nice pace right now. To, mm -hmm. be, to be quite honest, <laughs> I need to see these notes. Yeah, I have to. I'm, I have to ask Ori for them. Ori has a bunch of different notes. I think these were for Frodo percent specifically, the talk to face one. But I remember I asked him for notes because I was like, oh, I, you, you ran this category and I want to run it. Can I see your notes? He said, okay, but they only make sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, and Shuki, for, Shuki forgetting that this photo trigger uh, exists oh, once you yeah. save Paula from the chasm. Bummer to forget. To... I've done that. Yeah, it's very, very easy to forget, especially if you're maybe a little bit frustrated about dying to strong twice early in the run, which could still be ruminating uh, in Shuki's head. I can, I know I would still be tilted about it. So yeah, and just kind of being like, I just gotta go. I just gotta go. Yeah, and Shuki has to remember if they're going for this death warp, they need to drop this teddy bear at the, at yes. the very least. If, and you, you unequip. should unequip. You should unequip, but the teddy bear is there the most go. important thing to get rid of <laughs> for sure. All right, but dropping they, they the did, items. Yeah, they did remember. They just do it in a different place that everyone else does it, which is perfectly yeah, fine. There's no advantage sure. to doing it earlier versus here. Like, it's just personal preference. Yeah, it's personal preference, but also it's just like you don't want to forget because the yes. mole fight's gonna be rough. No pun intended. Yeah, it's not playing rough enough is the issue. 
And Chucky has 99 HP. Yeah, and you know, you can't. I've had 99 HP death warps that have gone off without a hitch, and I've had 6 HP death warps that have. But not when a mole is just not paying attention and yeah. being like, boop a doo 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 doo. Yeah. I'm just a mole. Hello. He was just trying to play around in a in a cave, and now he's having to fight weird people. I don't blame him. Yeah, and Paula dying first there. Well, it does seem like oh, one of the kids is dead now. This is advantage. Oh, there we go. Ooh. That was a good one. This, that was a good hit. 67. What's he doing? Why did he auto fight there? That could have been. Terrible. Uh, well, it could have been terrible. If you had crit mole there, mole would have died, and then you would have survived. So do you never auto fight there? Is my suggestion. Maybe it was a, a miss menu. Could have been. Do they have enough money? Yes, they do. Checking just in case. Does not want to pull a Lord Taco. <laughs> Oh, dang, called out. Uh, they called themselves out about it earlier, which is the only reason I feel comfortable calling them out about it. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not have done that. No, just please, to be clear. feel free. I... <laughs> Alright, we were one testy sequence away from getting into Brick Road, and we'll see how the protoplasm section goes. Boeing moving above the tent. You can move under the tent. There is a photo trigger you have to avoid, though. Yeah. Uh, but it ended up working out because that, uh, that Tessie watcher mm -hmm. yeah, would have blocked you. And, you and know, then the, it would have been time... unavoidable unless you, you knew, either would just have to turn around and... Or would wait for that guy to move. And I mean, yeah, which... do you think the time save is even that much? Like, it's literally it's like barely, a it's pixel. It's barely, barely a time save. But it is a time save. Just barely. Just barely. It's one of those things that, like, if that guy's on the way, you go for it. Uh, moving above it, though, is the safest thing you can do. Barely is slower. You know, if, it, if it's, it's like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, most likely, or something in that range. Uh, so it's it's not one of those things. If you're, if you're thinking about trying to strats to, quote-unquote, save time, it's not one that is super high right. up there. And I feel like that would be when you're like really pressing for a better PB when you already have a really good one if you're trying to save like milliseconds. So. Absolutely. I mean, some people like to grab whatever time they can. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think other people just prefer to play relatively safe and finish the run. And there's no better way to run the category. It's not like, oh, the, very clearly it's, it's this way. This is the way you're supposed to do it. It's, it you can get a, a fantastic time playing both ways. Yeah. Um, because you can play very safely and it might end up being the correct decision because if you had gone for the time save, but it's technically slightly, you can lose more time, then it's not worth it anymore. Mm -hmm. You mean like left bus? You know what? <laughs> That's strong. <laughs> That's a strong retort. I can't. I can't front on strong retorts. I. I used to be someone who'd be like, no, oh, no, oh, shut up. Oh dang, Boeing almost got that skip. But right bus is better. You gotta pick your battles, Daniel. I know, I'm picking this one. Keen wins. I'm. I'm picking this one. Right bus is better. I will say about the the photo trigger is not as big. It's not as big as you think. Oh my goodness, one HP. Going for the run, they have about a thirty percent chance to run. Right now. And now they're just going for the hit. They are one hit away from killing Proto. I think they just Woo! decided, well, either I run or I kill them. It doesn't really mm -hmm. matter at this point. Got lucky. And a cookie. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna eat the boiled egg here to uh, get their HP <laughs> yeah. back to max. And we could try and see a duck skip here. That's actually a great start Ooh, to a potential yeah. run. Yeah, you, you pull them to the left and then pull them down. Nice. Uh, there is a, is a chance oh, that the oh. duck can correct himself, but he decides to make it worse. And the duck. Our first is duck skip. And Bubble Monkey once again denying a, a second proto skip. It's been a lot of a lot of Bubble Monkeys just getting in the way. It's not really up to you. You can do the setup perfectly, but Bubble Monkey stops. That is uh, that is what happens. He do be stopping. Yeah, yeah, it's like his favorite thing to do. <laughs> He's like, oh, a gift. I'm like, no. <laughs> Not the shiny things. All right. Well, that was a decent, I mean, that, it was a quick duck skip setup. Yeah. And a quick, so that was a very, very nice brick road. Going into Pond Cave with full HP, that second proto didn't hit them at all. Yeah. And Boeing, 
Boeing is good at stuttering, although they are playing not on their preferred console. I believe they're playing okay. either on SNES Classic or um, their Switch. I think one of oh. the two. Um, normally, they, they used to run on like a sort of third-party SNES. So they ran on actual cart because one of the, because they do have a cart. Um, I just don't know how good their D-pad is for stuttering. So I, I just I, I wonder how. I don't know if I would trust the Switch to stutter unless you have the Super Nintendo controllers. Boy, boy, doing some movement there as if to imply this will shuffle the RNG. Except that it didn't. <laughs> it didn't though. That actually did not shuffle the RNG in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Uh, but it worked. Honestly, honestly, it worked. So what? Uh, so I, maybe it did. <laughs> it, no, it didn't. It just happened to work out. <laughs> it did not shuffle but, the RNG. But what if there's some magic happening right now? Uh, you can avoid that mushroom by going under it. Yes. Um. Very, very nicely <laughs> spotted by Boing. And wow, such Ooh, a good pawn game. Man, the great pawn game. The entrance was was Ooh. rough, but. Once they got in, once the, they did that RNG, <laughs> once they did that RNG manip, which now means they they automatically forfeit and lose. The RNG manip is banned. <laughs> Very clearly, it was manipulation. The last thing in this pond cave is these spawns up top, which are in the perfect position to get stuck on nice. this wall. So, just and like Chucky one is heading into three, so they will start their three sequence soon. Yeah, they too have to the hit. Ghosts. Yeah, the ghosts do not like loud music. Runway Five has uh, got a lot of loud music on their bus. Woof. Cave boy. Yeah, the cave boy. As long as he's high enough up, uh, you walk faster than them, so you can avoid that that fight fairly fairly consistently. Sometimes mm -hmm. they might be in an unfortunate spot, and you might have to despawn or walk a different path, but. Boeing looking like they're on a very, very nice pace here. This could be, I think this is currently sub 110 pace, um, which would be great. I think they'd be very happy with that. Yeah. Um, Who wouldn't be? I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, I personally, I would be like, whoa, wait, I'd be freaking out. We are seeing flies though. It's dang flies. Yeah, we've seen a lot of people like just get the annoying part about flies here is that you, you see these trees here and they can sneak up on you. They can, you know, the nest is behind the tree. So can a fly, like a fly can just be right there and they swing over head. very quickly. Um, <clears throat> and a single fly, not very dangerous, but they end up Pack usually spawning three. in packs of two or three sometimes. And uh, that's, that's where it gets a lot spookier. Yeah, and also like when there's so many spawns on the screen, the lag is just unreal. So it it makes it even harder to try and like dodge things to get out of the way. Absolutely. Now Shuki gonna be starting their winter sequence as Boeing is flying back to Threed. So once the Skyrunner sequence is over for Boeing, um, we just gotta get through Boogie Tent. It would take a lot of Boogie Tent deaths for this to be a win for Shuki, but it is not out of... I mentioned Aurelix. Aurelix is notorious for dying several times to Boogie Tent. Um, <laughs> I died right in front of it, so... <laughs> yeah, but for, for for Ori, Boogie Tent is always the one who does the honor. <laughs> Kill Tent. Talk to the <laughs> Yeah, I agree, IQ, because if you die once, um, and you didn't throw away the broken spray can as the defense spray, and you could sell it for 250. Um, that way, you can at least revive Jeff and go for it again. After that, it kind of yeah gets into crisis mode, for sure. Yeah, a, I agree. You're in, a, you're in a money crunch at that point, mm -hmm. uh, and it becomes a situation where you don't have enough money to revive the party members you need to kill uh, Boogie Tent, and also depending on the situation, maybe you get into the big tent fight, you shoot the big bottle rocket, and then the big bottle rocket doesn't do enough damage, and then you die. Now all of a sudden you're out your big, your major way to And you have no psychic tent. points on Ness either. Yeah, and the only way to full heal in 3 is staying at the 3 hotel, uh, which would cost $60 per person, which is a, a full 180 for all three, all three party members. And it's 120 to revive a kid in the hospital, so... 
yeah it's very expensive so once once you're low on money in a situation like this if you're trying to finish the race all of a sudden it becomes well i gotta grind on some enemies so that I, dad yep. sends me money i've seen <laughs> it then, i've seen it yep yeah so it's it's not a good situation to find yourself in uh, it loses but you i will lot. say like not like you know completely rare like I'm, I'm gonna say it is like fairly rare i said that wrong you know like for the most part yeah. you probably you know got a setup and you know what you're doing and da 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 but it's not impossible yeah i mean we pick up this teddy bear for the added safety that's that's part of you know a ways to prevent that bears are supposed to uh enemies are supposed to target the bear 75 percent of the time uh, instead of you it doesn't always work out that way uh, in terms of at least how it feels but uh, we'll see how this how this boogie tent goes. Ideally, yeah. so the best possible scenario for boogie tent, or at least for boogie percent specifically, is that boogie tent uh, hits Paula and kills. There's her. a dog. There, there is a. There's dog, a dog. That, that that dog, thankfully behind a tree, can't see them. Defend, defend, big bottle rocket. Okay. This is the fastest possible way to kill boogie tent. Boogie tent has like 20 HP right now. Dogs. Those are just the best one. I totally love love me a dog, especially the zombie kind, zombie persuasion. Nice. GG yeah, boy. GG G -G for boing was a very nice uh, time in this uh, round one Swiss. And that will be sub one ten. It it could potentially be. They have to match through these levels here. Uh, Jeff has to get to level 11, so once Jeff starts gaining the level, you can start seeing how long how long it's going to take. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. Paula is the one that now Jeff finally starts getting these levels. If you're going to take the dog fight, ooh, with a green, nice. And, and an auto, auto kill. Kills. Get a level up and you might get the bread roll drop. Yeah, oh, the Shooky yes. deserves that bread roll. Yeah, so in winters, uh, the dog bread roll drop is a 50 50 chance. So a lot more likely. And it is nice to see it does give you some some added safety for uh, yeah. the road. That is a 109.54 for Hello Boing. They noticed they've noted it as such in the race time. That is a very, very good time. Probably one of the best of the tournament so far. Um, I believe, yeah, only Peen Train has a faster time than that with a 108.13 from this mm -hmm. round one Swiss. So very, very good. Actually, you know, also Hunter. Hunter, Hunter, two. yeah. So, I mean, anything sub 110 you gotta be happy with. It was a fantastic race from Boeing. And then Shuki sure. here. Shuki here still in Winters walking under. Unfortunately, walking into the tent, which uh, negates the time save, but I respect the attempt. At least the Tessie Watcher wasn't in the way, right? Yeah, absolutely. I can't hear any music, so I'm singing. So since Shuki got that dogfight, they, uh, they get an extra level, which means they have um, either one or two HP coming, in, extra HP coming into this first protoplasm, which might end up making a difference. First protoplasm can hit uh, from a range of about eight to twelve, uh, with most commonly it just being like a flat ten. Uh, so normally Jeff has thirty HP, so three hits in a row, and and, and the protoplasm will guarantee to outspeed Jeff every single time. Uh, it just means that you die to it, and it can kill you over and over again if you just have some. Yeah. some terrible luck but yeah. the extra level helps provide a nice little and the bread roll safety. don't forget the bread roll yeah you can eat the bread roll on this on like the the second turn of getting hit it's kind of if they're hitting consistently i would say yeah yeah okay, let's see how shuki does come on shuki we're all rooting for you It'd be interesting to see if anyone does get first proto skip this tournament because it is possible and has been done by a handful of runners at this point. But 
no no attempt. So okay. calling for help, calling for help in the first turn is, is one of the worst things it can do. Uh, my recommendation here defend. is to defend, and you start yeah. defending. You defend for like two to three turns, um, because what you're doing is you're trying to survive for as many turns as possible. Because every turn that you survive, uh, your chance to run away increases by ten percent. So you want to defend for you know two to three turns to get that chance higher and higher, and then with thankfully when you're defending, they can't just like instantly kill you. Uh, and then you can run away potentially, but it's kind of working out here that the protoplasms, despite the fact that there was two of them, they're not being super aggressive. Uh, and Shuki might be able to get out of this. Yeah, smartly healing here. I think mm -hmm. I 100 percent agree with mm -hmm. that. And then they should be able to as long as this call for help. No friends. Yeah. Good grief. Yeah, but it, able to get through it. So that is. That is the other way you can play it. It does require a little bit more uh, luck to go your way because once there's two protoplasms, if they both hit you, you're just dead. Like, you will die. And should be trying to set up go. for a duck skip. Yeah, I, I'm of the opinion that if it takes too long to set up a duck skip, you might as well just fight the mm -hmm. duck. Because it's uh, almost... Oh, wait. Nice. Oh, he, he got himself stuck, so we get a nice little duck Very skip. Very nice. So, two duck skips. Yeah, both runners getting a duck skip Ooh, and a and second, second proto skip. Proto. Very Skills. nicely done. Woo! Let's go, Shuki! Nice little safety save here. This does help just a little bit. Um, if you die in Pond Cave, you'll come back to that phone instead of right before uh, the uh, Brick Road dungeon. So it's just less, less time you have to come walk back to Pond Cave just in case Pond Cave yeah. goes. Uh, a little bit south. You just step in the pond and get your socks all wet, and then it's just downhill from there. You give us some nice, nice stutters here. Stutters. The stutter is possible on the slug here. Just hold this stutter left, but oh, it's very difficult. And that could have been a green from Bubble Monkey too. Thankfully, it's just a single slug. Yeah. Um. So it will just die to one Easy. hit from death. Mm -hmm. But time, nonetheless. Yeah, unfortunately. And the level up doesn't really uh, benefit in any way. I guess maybe the <laughs> only benefit would be it doesn't happen at Boogie Tent. I don't know. Uh, it's Even like then. the slightest, yeah. slightest benefit. It's, it's just one of those, it's one of those like millisecond <laughs> time saves. It, it's, it's negated by the, like, normally you get the level up when you fight either Duck or Second Proto. So now it just happened here instead. Uh, but since Shuki skipped both those fights, getting the burger. Now they have to stutter Thank away from burger. this slug. Yeah. Don't recommend stuttering the first spawn <laughs> in this room ever. Um, the thing I used to do, I don't ever recommend it. Um, because you just can't, if the moment that there's an enemy in the second spawn over here, you have to stutter back and then you just might get stuck. This is a, this is possible. Shuki! But very, very difficult. Uh, this guy hurts. Jeff doesn't really have... I do have a burger. Yeah, but the burger... He might kill you before the burger even... Go oh, play. oh, he missed! <laughs> so much he might die from this? Okay, good. Woo! Uh, worked right. out. Shuki's still surviving. Yes. And a cookie. Pond. And get rid of it. <laughs> pond. Pond. Is it pond cave? Getting into this room, you gotta make sure this next spawn is empty. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, no, there's no stuttering to be done here. So, fairly, I would say fairly okay, Pond Cave, considering two, yeah. two fights didn't die. A scary fight, no less, and still yeah, didn't die. Yeah, a very so. scary fight. Good thing they got that burger. Mm -hmm. And we just have to see what's up top here. Perfect. Oh, nice. Yeah. Exactly what you want to see. Mm -hmm. So Shuki what now, through Winters, uh, and they'll be making their way on the Skyliner. Still could, honestly, like, not a bad time from them. I think, you know, considering that... The deaths, yeah. The, the deaths and, and the fact that at least what's on the, the leaderboard with their people, I think it was like a 122. Okay. Like 
Like, this is not that far off from that. No? <laughs> Yeah, 122.46. Uh, so, like, as long as Boogie Tank goes, goes fine, like, this is still in that range. And for those curious, now that we're going to be seeing a, a Skyward cutscene, for those curious what's happening on Boeing's screen over here, uh, Boeing has... Uh, kind of shoved their way into this little corner of the uh, tent here in Threed. Um, and this map here is right on the outskirts of the, of the entire map of the game. So when you squeeze yourself into this little side of the tent here and do and hit L, which is just how you check things, you're checking kind of at the outside the map, which is just random memory. And some funky stuff is happening. You see the top left? Oh no, it's just there over there. Some funky stuff is happening right now. The garbage text is showing up. The game is just kind of so it can it most often just kind of pulls garbage texts and sometimes we'll play some sound effects here and there um other times it can trigger uh, warps and stuff like that so sometimes you'll just be you'll be garbage text and then the screen will fade out and you'll appear in like cable pass or something and then it'll just crash so that us that's usually what happens We haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen any warps yet, so. Yeah, but there's I, tons more to go. Yeah, I expect uh, we'll probably see at least one throughout the tournament, because it seems to be every, after everyone's done with their race, like, everyone to go to is just to do this. That's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, it can delete your save files. So, if you, if you have, like, a sentimental save in your part, wouldn't recommend it. Um, because it, it can just delete every save in the game hit you with a message just like dang that sucks like <laughs> shouldn't have did that then <laughs> yeah getting the debug menu here is very rare you can't force it like you can in that uh, in that you can technically force the debug menu uh, but it is a one frame trick that is very difficult to do and uh, unlikely to see just sort of on It's tradition! <laughs> well, too bad. Now, uh, Shuki gonna be landing here. For as much crap as we give Jeff, his introduction, I, I identify with quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm really nearsighted, I'm kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. <laughs> you know what, same, yeah. Jeff. Yeah, the, the hatred of Jeff thing, which uh, is something that I have advocated for for a long time. Oh, the butterfly <laughs> definitely spooked him. Yeah. Uh, they saw something moving and we're like, oh yeah. no. Yeah, if you see any enemies there, just leave and come back. It's not worth it. Yeah, because the problem is if it's a fly, they just swing over instantly. And they, they, yeah, they and you don't want to take like a zombie fight or anything like that. Yeah, it'd be very bad. Um, But like Jeff is hated, or people are frustrated with Jeff. I definitely have, have always been anti-Jeff. It's been even a running <laughs> gag. Uh, the main reason is that we rely so heavily on Jeff uh, for the oh run. Oh my god, that dog came back! <laughs> that, that dog is specifically, it's the same dog from the one that killed you. It's the same one. <laughs> oh, I'm burning. That's my head can. It's the same dog. Okay. A prey. Heal, I don't, prey, and a BBR. I don't actually want to pray, but it could work out. Dazzling light. Nah, that, would, that would have been sick, though. Dazzling Light chase the enemy at like yeah. 50. It would have been super sick if that was like the, the, uh -huh. the kill. <laughs> Thankfully, Ness was the one. There we go, Shuki GG! Is a... GG's to shoot me. GG shoots. Wonderful job sticking with it. 
yes, very, very still a decent um, time. impressed with that. And yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm, team, good call. Yeah, that's part of the reason why. So, in general, if I'm gonna pray with Paula, um, I'm not doing anything else with any other person in the party because one of the things Paula can do is make everyone feel strange, okay. uh, and it can ruin your day. <laughs> and thankfully, this dog will go away once this little uh, fade out happens, and then Shuki will be finishing with an official time of one twenty three eleven. One twenty three twelve or one twenty three eleven? I th I think it was eleven, but um, it'll be one twenty three twelve. Unfortunately, I think it's just a little bit above their PB, so not quite a PB, but very close, even with two strong deaths. Which, yeah, you know, it doesn't feel nice, but if you're if you're almost PB and after tying twice to one of the biggest time losses you can get in boogie percent, right. that is a sign. That's a sign that you've improved a lot. Oh yeah, and and a big PB is coming your way. Yeah, Shooky would definitely have PB'd if they hadn't taken those really nasty deaths to the top. Which is Not one of the fun parts about all this tournament. You get to keep playing and playing and get better and better. Yeah, I expect this. We'll see Shooky uh, drive that time further and further down as the rounds continue for sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Nice, I love it. Well, yeah, great, great run from both players. Yeah, good job to both runners. And also thank you to you for being on comms with me. For sure. And thank you to Irving for doing the restream. Yeah, I'm glad um, we were able to restream it. This was a great race. I'd have been sad if everyone missed this. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I know uh, Shuki had mentioned that they had specifically wanted to restream just to just to hear back maybe oh okay of, yeah they want they wanted to hear what we had to say maybe they could pick up some tips here and there um but in general like at, at the very least if, if you just want my general assessment Shuki, you're playing fine i think you're playing great especially you making a lot of really good decisions in terms of like avoiding enemies and getting them stuck on stuff i'm really impressed with with everything to be honest yeah There's some unfortunate was deaths. Great. yeah uh, unfortunately, that is it for the day. Uh, we did have a race that was supposed to happen after this, but it has been rescheduled uh, for a later date. So that is all the Super Series action for today. But um, tomorrow it continues on strong. We have a race at 7 p.m. Eastern tomorrow between Shallow Copy and Hyconic. And uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, we have Maladroid versus The Kyle. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yes, absolutely. So uh, if you're wanting more Earthbound Super Series action, uh, tune in tomorrow then. Uh, but I think uh, we will be signing off for now. So uh, thank you everyone for watching uh, and have a good rest of your night. Bye.